do, don't yeah, they? I mean, New York basically used to light up the Empire State Building. Um, and I think they still light up the Empire State Building for selected events. I don't remember the. You know, that's going to cost a fortune to change the lights for the holiday like that. Well, no, they just flip switches. Oh, do they? They flip oh. switches, and they basically by flipping a switch, they can change the color. Now they have okay. The tall buildings all have warning lights on them. So what happens is they've got the they got the white lights, the red lights, the blue lights, the yellow. So they can basically just flip switches because it's, uh, <coughs> the way it worked on the older buildings. Well, because they're the colors they have anyway. They have the colors they had anyway because they were they airplanes were had to be worn to the building, so they had lights on them. See now you know too. See. Yeah, basically, and they sponsored this stuff at Macy's. It's still the, the huge thing, you know. The Macy's they basically go out there for like. A, 25, 30 minutes and do nothing but fire fireworks. I mean, I remember I participated in the 1976 one, you know, and um, God, I mean, all they did, I fired just so many tracers. Well, you know, I love, I mean, the 4th of July has always been yeah. one of my favorite holidays because, first of all, I love watching fireworks. There's something about, you know, you like the noise, the light, the sparkle. It's always just a lot of fun. Yeah, my, my uncle Santino mm -hmm. was in the Marine Corps and he basically, probably, he, from Vietnam, he brought back got off all amounts of flares and really? smoke bombs. And we basically celebrate throwing flares and smoke bombs. You know, people think it was a fire. We actually, did, we did a problem one fourth of July. He got a little bit celebrated too much and set one of the smoke bombs off in the garage. Mm, and funny. it looked like the garage was on fire. But you and know what? Yeah. We had to tell it. No, there's no fire. It's a smoke bomb. Oh, uh, yeah. You people again, isn't it? Um, I love that. I love you, you people. You people again. Yeah. Well, you know, it's like Macy's Parade or Macy's Fourth of July special, right? Yeah. Which you see on TV. I, I haven't been for me to be there in New York. I knew it was huge. I didn't realize it was the largest in the country. Yeah. I, I've seen it. But, it's um, pretty phenomenal. I got, um, you know, I've had the, because of the fact that my family was in the businesses they were in, I've got to travel a lot. And we basically, we've seen a lot of these parades. We got to see the Mummers parades. People don't know about the Mummers parades, but, the, you know, when they would basically, people would dress up in feather costumes and in Philadelphia and Detroit and things like that and have celebrations. So it was, it's, uh, you know, I've got to see all that stuff. You know. I know Chicago had a great Fourth of July. Yeah. Um, before over the water, and then I remember being like in Rhode, is it, is it Newport, Rhode Island? You know, they put set off the fireworks, and everybody, the boats honk their horns, you know, yeah, the yachts right. honk their horns. I've been privileged to, uh, you mm -hmm. know, see the celebrations that used to be done at the Long Beach Naval Yards, where they at the Long Beach they let loose with boom, 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 boom. I mean, you did. Do 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 boom boom boom. Do 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 do. They have the naval band playing the over eighteen twelve overture. Boom 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 boom. Well, they also have you know some of the other places have special fireworks for the Fourth of July. Yeah. I know. Well, actually, the Hollywood Bowl does it. Yeah. Queen Mary. Well, actually, Bowl does it. Yeah. Queen Mary. Fourth, they have a bigger fireworks show. Yeah, that's why I mean, we go over and see the better fireworks. So we actually got passes. We, we, we have we have Southern California passes, but we do have another pass that we can go. You know, because you know everybody knows little girly Bow Wow is a big star, so they give stars things. <laughs> uh, patriotic trailer shown in theaters prior to the 4th of July 1940 as a national holiday marked by a patriotic display similar to suburban summer theme. Patriotic display similar to suburban non-essential federal institutions like the post office and federal courts. And holiday cells. Yeah, many politicians make it a point of the day to appear at a public event to praise the nation's heritage. Well, oh, and it's your last group of holiday cells before they start doing the preseason cells for park back to school. Yeah, and uh, this is always the big one. For park back to school. Yeah, and uh, this is always Or attending a picnic, a barbecue to take advantage of the day off and some years long weekend together. Realize what happened was my mother always worked on the 4th of July because she ran, she was in a restaurant business and that was a big day. Mm -hmm. So we'd end up doing fireworks at really bad times. Well, then, yeah, we'd set off fireworks when she was home. And we'd also mm -hmm. have our celebration, you know, because uh, she's based on a 24-hour business, so she'd be working 
So we do it like the day before the fourth. <laughs> we yeah. have our parties. Well, you know, I'm always firework celebrations. I know, like one of my favorites was, believe it or not, in high school. If believe it, high school, high school. If if the local high school. Stadium, watching all the football stadium, watching all the fireworks because you actually weren't that far away from you. There's some other. If you get up, people going off the background, uh, basically like the parades are in the morning, while fireworks are playing, occur the evening in such places as parks, fireground, town squares. We don't have a 4th of July celebration once again at, uh, over at. Uh, Marina Del Rey. She actually went to one of those once, about not oh, one too long ago. They had. That was such a mess. I think they had the traffic. The, they had the last one they had before they cut it out because of money. Actually, I was there one when the boats got on fire. Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. Wait. Well, they, the fireworks hit one of the boats in the parade, so. Well, and this year it's going to be different because remember, we, we talked about that. It's because of the EPA and coming down on fireworks. Like, didn't the city of San Diego? Didn't you say that they're no longer doing fireworks? That they're being, they've been sued by the Environmental Protection Agency to prohibit the firing of fireworks. They are the first stop in the country to stop the use of fireworks across our nation. Which means you're not going to get at fireworks at what? They're, at the, they're, they're at the baseball games. Right, because if it's illegal for the city and it's a city facility, they're not going to allow fireworks at the baseball game either. So. Or the colleges or the high schools or whatever. Yeah, it's all come to a halt. And, uh, you know, that's the way it is. It's just... Um, what it is is just the United States, the people that run our government don't believe in, in tradition. They have, they don't care about it. It's just they want to make, you know, they, they don't think that you should do this, you don't, should do that. I mean, they're uh, changing the way everything is being done. There would be no celebration of any holiday other than the, 5th of, uh, other than the 1st of May if they had their way. Mm -hmm. That would be the only holiday that would be celebrated in our country. Mm -hmm. But, uh, but you know, that fireworks are always, you know, the, the Star Spangled Banner, God bless America, America the beauty, my country, tis of thee. The Star is... And, you know, it always makes you feel so patriotic. You know, they flag your, wave your flags are around. I'm a Yankee Doodle Dandy, born on the 4th of July. <laughs> yeah, I think mean, that's all you can do. That's all you can do without being sued. Oh, yeah. If you do more than like that, they they yank you off the internet too. Um, oh, and you know, Dixie is a big one. And Dixie is a big one. And wrote the Washington Post part. The Washington Post March, the Stars yeah. and Stripes, Forever, uh, and things like he was massive patriot songs. He basically was the head of the Marine Corps marching band. He took. His band, Sousa, his band to the south on the 4th of July. What They told him not to take the marching band to the south. They were, you know, Sousa was a, you know, Marine. And, they, and he goes, you know, Deva. And then, after he done, like I remember his sister, wrote his sister, followed by Dick. You know, and he basically went to the Washington Post march and he had everybody cheering because it was a it was a marching song. He wasn't. He wasn't playing the Star Spangled Banner. He wasn't doing, you know, waving a, you know, doing this in front of the because there was a lot of Confederates in that audience. But he played the Washington Post March with every cruddy school marching band in the country. Played. So he got. He won over the hearts of the South with the March, the March, the March, March. Mm -hmm. But um, well, actually, like I said, we got the War of 1812, which is basically the, which isn't what we're celebrating. Basically, we're talking about when they're doing. Da -da 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 about when they're doing. That's that's 
Napoleonic Wars, folks. Oh, is it? Yeah. But I always think of it, I, I, I see that vividly, you know, watching the fireworks yeah, and then the orchestra's playing. It has to do with Napoleon. Napoleon, not, it's not a do with Napoleon. Napoleon, not Okay, safety concerns have led to some states to ban fireworks and limit the size and types allowed. Illicit traffic transfers many fireworks from less restricted states. Like you go over to you go over to Nevada and bring stuff back. Mm -hmm. So, uh, all right, like I said, we used to we used to we I said we used to we had yeah. machine guns, were great big monsters. Even had a Ma Deuce a few times. Uh -huh. My deuce basically has a bullet about like that. They shoot airplanes down with it. And we would go, my father would sit there, basically you set the chair to go, kaboom, 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 kaboom. And once, one of our holidays, we sat there and set the music up outside. We had, I had lights, we had flashy. We were going, eh, 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 eh. You know, we had the machine guns, we had the, we had the, the all the, everybody had no, because we I'm a military family. We everybody had also in the entertainment business, so we could get our hands on a lot of heavy duty equipment. And people would come over to watch the celebration. We would lay a smoke stream down that you could walk on. There was so much gunfire explosions go you know, when, when you get to the uh, the overture, the eighteen twelve overture, you go boom and the big big twelve overture, you go boom and the big He bought it on the back of a semi truck, and when it got to that point where you go boom, they would ram it in, go boom, and, and the truck would bounce. The truck yeah, you would, like boom, it too. Boom, boom. Truck would go like that. Uh huh. And then you know, they 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 say you know we never got complaints. My father was in the police department. The police department was there. Everybody was celebrating because we had this we had this huge chunk of property, and <laughs> you believe we didn't. We watered that place down like you would not believe. But talk about all the fun that you had. It was a lot of fun. It was a place where people came to party all day. You know, like I said, my mother never got to see the Fourth of July celebrations we'd have on the Fourth oh. because she worked. I don't think she'd have been pleased with what we. Yeah, she that. probably wouldn't have been happy. Well, no, put it. I mean, we we practice safe gun. You know, I mean, you I practice safe using safe yeah. guns. Well, that's one of the things is when you have fireworks, you do first of all. You do have to proceed with caution. You should have at least an adult there. Yeah. Don't let your kids do it by themselves. Oh, my father. We were using quarter sticks of dynamite. You think what? We would basically put it in, boom. Yeah. And my, uh, my father had, I remember my father had one of his friends was in the uh, Ordnance uh, Corps. He was also a bomb disposal person. And uh, Your dad was? No. My, one of my father's friends, and he'd, he'd tell his kids, he said, uh, are you playing with those sticks of dynamite? And they said, no, Daddy. And then you hear an explosion. Are you playing with those sticks of dynamite? No, Daddy. And then there'd be another explosion. And he said, I know you're playing. And Mom threw the Mom. Oh, and, they, and she's there. And she's got a thing. I remember, it's lit. And she's got it in her hands. You know, it's a quarter stick of dynamite. And she then, and he said, well, that's different. You know, it was a bit of a son for folks. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, you do. I mean, see, part of it, this is not something that everybody can do at home. I mean, First of all, no, no, since no. your father was in the police department, you might have got, been able to do a little bit more stuff and you had a little bit more training. Well, than we're, we're talking going. things were a little bit bad, looser after World War II up into the Vietnam era. Mm -hmm. Then they started... Getting, they started cracking down. Well, you can't do that in the city because, God, you know, you gotta, we should have to kind of let fires. There were no, because we knew... How we basically we, we had a very large chunk of property and we like we had a very